Hello, we are live. Today is Sunday, November 27, 2016. And um, I'm starting my channel. Um, I have with me Bree. And thank you, Bree, for helping. And I have Kerry and Tran. Hey, Kerry and Tran. And I have with me Alona and Anya. Thanks for joining me live here. I don't want to be visible in their camera and they have an excuse because of the rain. We have a rain in San Diego, which is like, maybe, maybe it's the fifth rain I get, I got here in a year. Oh. So I'm gonna channel and um, I will go slow because when I go slow, the quality goes better. I basically, I listen more and speak less. Forgive me for that. When I get as experienced as Jim, I will do, maybe I'll go faster. And now I go in uh, four minutes of breathing exercise. And um, then I'll bring someone. <clears throat> Hello, how is the sound? <clears throat> Sounds great. All right. I'm Yogananda. Yogananda. Yes. I'll start with a brief introduction and then I will take your questions. <laughs> All right, the topic of today is global unity. The energies of today are such that global unity is where the action is, where the energies are. Imagine a rainbow globe 
a rainbow, a rainbow earth, a rainbow Gaia, etheric image of Gaia. That's where the energy is. It is manifesting. It wants to manifest. The new earth is there for you. Part of you is already there. Part of your nations is already there. The collective consciousness is already there. It wants to be manifested. It wants to be born into, into their into what you call reality. <laughs> it wants to be born into that dream which you are dreaming right now, <laughs> which is called reality. It needs your prayers. It invites your prayers. Send your prayers to global unity. Send your prayers to ascension. And send your prayers to universal consciousness. Mother, Father, God. As you pray for help for you, as you pray for help for your health, for your connection to God, for your inner realization, Add your prayers for global unity. Add your prayers for ascension. Add your prayers for rising up together. For network of souls to manifest. For the network of souls to become real in this dream. For joining the dream of unity. That's the invitation we send to you. And that's the invitation I beg you to accept. <laughs> Keep in mind the life is an illusion. Hmm. Embrace this illusion. Embrace it dearly, it is a gift. And you're here on a mission. We invite you to pray and to embrace and to pray to embrace this mission. Ask for more. You will be given as much as you ask for. Ask for more. The law number one in this reality <laughs> is free will free choice so we are waiting for you we inviting you we offer you but it's up to you to ask up to you to embrace up to you to take on up to you to take and take on the task of their ascension think inside dive inside dive into inner you and there find the global unity it's inside it's all there and as you energize with the idea of unity you become closer to the universal consciousness, to God. And then act. We invite you to go forward and act, inwardly and outwardly. Connect to each other one on one. Speak. Make the sound. The sound is... Powerful, powerful. 
The sound is... The sound is strong. It wakes up invisible. It brings up the manifestation. Speak up. Mm. Speak up. What is God? Mm. There is no way to answer this question. There is no way. It's not intellectualizable. It's not logical. There is no textual explanation. It can be only understood, realized through inner work, through diving inside and finding it in the heart, uniting with it by inviting the unity and inviting God inside. you discover more of what it is. Now, the, name of God, the names of God are many. And I will remind you of one more name of God. It relates to the idea of the feminine, feminine aspect of the creator, the creative aspect of feminine creative aspect of the creator so you can speak to her as divine mother as universal mother the goddess and the mama that's the name i want to remind you the mama is also the goddess the Divine Mother, the Universal Mother, the Goddess, the God, the Mother God. Thank you for joining and invite the questions from people here locally and from people here remotely. Now speak up, please. My question is... Yay! How to fight the fear? What is your fear? My fear is to... step forward. Ah. Ah. Is it a good time for you to step forward? I feel yes. Ah. Ah. To discover. Mm -hmm. It is the nature of this dream reality that fear is useful. Pay attention to your fears, work on your fears, embrace them, love them. If you read the biographies, if you speak to people and ask about their biggest steps in their lives, you might discover that many of them had fears and many steps they done not by fighting the fear, but by realizing their fears, by understanding their fears, and by choosing between the fear of the new and the fear of the being stuck. So now your fear of being stuck is becoming stronger than fear of going forward. And this is normal, natural, good. Stagnation is sickness. Moving forward is health. The only way this dream body, that this dream personality is alive is by moving. <laughs> but we are not saying to you, jump off the cliff, 
go on red light, wait for green light, press the button, press it many times and wait for green light. And noticing when it's green light, notice, pay attention to the stoplight, notice when it's green, don't miss your turn. <laughs> Watch others move in this direction. It's easy because this path is largely explored. So speak to others who went this way. Connect and speak before jumping somewhere, before flying something, before taking a trip, speak to the ones who are on the trip, who are, have been there. And as you speak, you might find yourself infected. Infected with the belief that it is possible. Infected with the program and the knowledge and the know-how how to get there. Connect to others. And the, while connecting, you will bring their knowledge, bring their supernatural connection to your past lives and parallel lives and future lives, which gi will give you the wisdom. It is just the illusion of disconnection from this wisdom which makes you afraid. When you connect to it, it becomes easy and obvious and invite this ease and obviousness. Invite it and it will be granted for you. Pray, make the sound, make the preparations. Just be practical and prepare, energize yourself. And then you discover it will be more scary to stay still than moving forward because forward will be clear the way forward will be clear mm -hmm. practice your steps in unknown whenever you find yourself in a safe environment make a turn into unknown and practice walking somewhere you have never been before doing something you have never done before, something safe, and exercise is muscle, exercise the protection. It doesn't really matter which direction you go, just the skill of a pioneer, skill of a, an explorer will be yours. Practice that skill. It's an art and it's reachable it's very close you can connect to it plug in into it as you wish i will give you a symbol imagine yourself walking through the shrubs prickly shrubs in the dark that's what explorers do sometimes. You don't know the path, but you protect your eyes with one palm and feel your way with another palm and never jump. You only step forward, feel the ground before moving your weight onto the new position slowly. And if you get stuck, retract, feel your path, but keep moving. That's the image. There's the symbol and find the light. Lead a candle, light a candle and you will see the path. <laughs> Thank you for asking. I invite more questions. Hi. Hey, what's your name? My name is Bree. Hey, Bree. Hi. Thank you for joining. Oh, thank you. Um, for us. I would like to ask what it was like to live your life here on Earth.
it was different than now. It was only a few tens of years ago, but it was different. Since then, the, the Earth made several leaps, several upgrades, several mind changes. When I was born, it was very, 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 very different. And I observed and served to some of these upgrades. I was guided. I was privileged, privileged, privileged to be guided. And yet, from the beginning, I carried the weight of the past fears, of the past ways. So I did the work. I took on myself the work of healing these fears, healing and transforming these ways, and also I invited and was granted the connection to the future, the connection to new ways. So it was easy for me, in, ma in many ways, it was easy for me to come up with the new ways and inventions and answers. It was easy. I was channeling much of the time. I was channeling the answers, channeling the teachings, the ways of doing things, the ways of life. And I was given, a given hmm, the strength of understanding i was given the understanding that was given me the strength the understanding was, was that it is an illusion and the failure is okay so i failed so many times and many of these time times i took it easy i was given the consolation i was given the justification and I was trained, I was trained to go through the failures and stay positive. I got this training and I'm grateful for that. Mm. And I was so happy to recognize the new beginnings of the new programs, the new beginnings of the new understandings of new ways of life, the new vibrations. And when I recognized them, I felt home. I felt coming back home because each of us, each of you, each of us has this memory of the higher life. It is inside. We are light workers by choice, but also by memory. We have been light workers for many lifetimes. And we remember the brotherhood. We remember the love. We remember the acceptance, tenderness. We recognize it easily. And that kept me going. I'm thankful for the guidance. I'm thankful for the body and the ability to be a vessel, to be a channel and to be a hand of the Divine Mother. 
many things happened as planned. Many things happened as designed. Some things happened as good surprises. Tons of things happened as bad surprises. But overall, this life was fine and it felt wonderful. It felt wonderful. As a channel, I went up and down, up and down, carrying the message forth and back, carrying the knowledge back and forth. And it was fulfilling. And I hope it might serve as a model for you as well. I'm grateful for that question. Thank you. Thank you for going into detail. Um, I'm so happy we get to speak with you. There's something about you that is like when I see, when I look at pictures of you, I'm automatically, I feel better. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Um, I can tell that you achieved a lot of tearing down the films that hide our light. I can tell that you emitted so much light to others as you were around them. I would like to ask how you went about consoling others who were dealing with struggles, who had different belief systems and diff truly different realities than yours. As a light worker, what was your method? Thank you. Hmm. When you look at my pictures, you feel the connection because you are connected. You are connected. You are one of us. You recognize the signature. You recognize the pattern. And the pattern is of tenderness, pattern of brotherly, sisterly love, of trust. Develop that discrimination and recognize that pattern everywhere. Even in people you're find so different from your standpoint, look for that pattern. Many people carry it. Many people carry it in different ways. I was blessed to be a teacher. I was Practicing it from the very young age. And as a teacher, I aim to bring people to the Divine Mother, aim to give people the connection. And that was obvious, that was natural for me. And it is natural for you as well. Invite people. And as you open yourself as a teacher, people will come to you. 
people will be sent to you people will be guided to you be ready from the perspective my life could seem like a uniform life which was which it wasn't there was many of i there was many changes evolving i was evolving evolving forms skills understandings but the trick the trick the knowledge the trick the skill was to smile and to trust smile and trust and just do your best that's it another trick the skill the approach is to unite with the person melt into the person be that person mm, thank you for asking because many of us many of you all of us we are trained we learn to discriminate people to put them into different castes categories trusted not trusted good bad colored gender wise mentally wise but at certain point and this point better be now understand that everyone deserves everyone everyone deserves love everyone deserves compassion everyone has been a child and everyone carries that child in them at any age there is a child and everyone to love hmm. so be that do that unite if you're driven by higher slide higher the intention you are going to be protected and energized to do what you're supposed to do don't feel like you have to convert everyone but intend to offer your compassion to everyone intend that and go as far as you feel appropriate at this specific time in that illusion that is a very important work very important work and as you connect to other people attempt to match their vibration sometimes it is matching going up sometimes it's matching going down sometimes to match it you have to go sideways but you are capable of matching their vibration understanding where they are coming from what they are and what is driving them and as you understand that you will be guided to see where are they going to and what is their path up what is the road up and how to help them go in this direction just give them what they need what they ask for and take time don't rush them just connect them to them by itself sometimes it's sufficient the connection establish the link and then they will be downloaded no and then the bliss will be down downloaded through that link thank you for asking hello i have a question can i ask yay what's your name uh karina hi karina 
Hi, uh, I'm glad to, to be here. Uh, it's I have a question about um, connections. I would like to know if uh, we need to have uh, all the lowest chakra very um, well done, very healed, because I have the feeling of, of uh, wanting to connect it, my energy expand, I want to connect it to everyone, but I, but I am refraining it, refraining it, because my lowest chakra are not ready yet to do the work and to do the, take the past the pass in the right uh, way. Do you understand? Yes, thank you. Hmm. Again, connect to the symbol of fish. The fish is so protected because it is in the water. And the water by itself is love. The water by itself is a conductor of divine energy. And as a fish, you can go into dangerous connections, but you will be protected. You will be fueled, fueled with the divine energy. And then as a fish, you can escape into safe areas. Take it as breathing, okay, as human breathing, air. You go connect to the energies which are foreign to you, but stay there only as long as you feel comfortable and then come back to your comfortable zone and regenerate, recover. You'll find that this breathing exercise, going into foreign areas and coming back, energizes you. And do it not as an exercise, but as a service. And look for best service you can provide. That's our offer to you. That's our suggestion. Make a choice to serve a certain highest excitement purpose. And this highest excitement will guide you to the proper people and proper new areas which are appropriate for you. You're always given the tasks and the challenges which are appropriate for your current level of development, current strength, current power, current energy level, current vibration. You are at such level of vibration that you can see a certain range of tasks, see a certain range of energizing challenges which are helpful for your growth. Take them as such. Take these challenges as exercises of service, exercises to tune up your filters, tune up your chakras, tune up your spiritual muscle. And as you do the service, you will be given more protection and you will become more protected and immune to these distortions. Okay, thank you. I know, 
I know what the kind of service you are talking about, but um, um, the you say I don't need to work uh, anymore. I don't need to control. All will uh, happen if I, when I decide to take the path. I don't need to to um, control my uh, uh, healthy chakra. I have to take the path and uh, trust and uh, do my with my highest excitement and always uh, and I will be protected. Okay, it's that. You mentioned something about work. Can you repeat that? Yes, I uh, I want, wanted to know if um, I have to take over take over uh, the need, uh, the need of controlling because you have uh, you have said uh, uh, you will do the service and always uh, repair always uh, get healthier because you will do uh, your service in in your higher, highest excitement always be okay i don't need to control it okay it is that i understand now thank you Yes, miracles are there. Yes, miracles are involved. Yes, there are beautiful, wonderful things which happen because of miracles. But in this space where you are, and most of you are, there is a need for being practical. There is a need for being wise. There is a need for being financially wise, materially wise, take a good care of material part of the life, take a good care of food, drink, sleep, all of that is necessary. The idea of control is still helpful you still are in the learning process you still are in a process where you have to take care of practical things so some things you control some things control you that game of the third chakra is still valid we are not saying drop everything and trust we are saying Keep doing what you have been doing before and gradually evolve to a higher state of being. Gradually learn as breathing, as fish, go into the new areas and come back and regenerate. And as you change your rules, change your routines, you will see what serves you and what doesn't. You might still need to eat and drink and get money and take care of cleaning things and things of that sort. But as you watch for miracles, they, are, they will be given to you more and more. You will create them more and more. Yes. Does it answer your question? Yes, it was great. Now I understood everywhere, everything. It was very great. Thank you very much. Thank you. I don't know. Do you mind closing the window? It's too, just too loud now. Can I ask a question? Anna, yes, thank you. Thank you very much for helping us. My pleasure. And my question, a little um, kind of like related to previous skill question, but I just want to ask it specifically more about me for me uh my new life kind of like style mm, okay i'm very happy what makes me happy is to make other people happy and work on myself and when i'm just in that state i am very happy and it's really energizing me and but it is still physical uh, stuff, um, this reality, so-called, 
uh, which I able only to do like cleaning, cooking, uh, taking care of a little kids, but the rest stuff is really feels heavy to me. For me, even heavy to open my bank account and check how many money I have there. This lifestyles, I have doubts if I'm living in illusion of this, I don't know, if I delusion myself about this happiness and that it's the right path or it's just my new lifestyle. I don't know how to correct uh, uh, ask this question. I hope you feel my question. Yes, thank you, yes. Thank you. So many of you, Anna and many of you, feel their baggage of the past, feel their fears of the past, feel the limitations of the past. And when you are in this past mode of mind, you are scared of what is happening to you. And then when you move to the new mode of mind, you are forgetting about the fears. Which one is good? Which one is practical? Is it good to be in the new mode of mind and drop the idea of money, bank accounts, material things? I went through the same. <laughs> it was... In terms of the way of life, it was a long, long time ago because the life was way, way, way more different. The sound was different. The heaviness was different. Their mood of people was different. There was even bigger disconnect between material and ideal, between material and idea. Now they are mixed together tightly. So yes, you're doing this jump. You're in the middle of the leap. One leg still in the past, one leg in the future. You're being torn apart by these conflicting dimensionalities, these conflicting vibrations. And you're not alone. It is <laughs> the work you do. It is the nature of the transformation. It is the step of ascension. <laughs> you might find yourself in that predicament for the whole life. In different angles, different aspects. But yes, as breathing, go there come back, go there, come back, and clear. You are not learning for yourself. You are learning for everybody. Think globally, think of human collective consciousness. Through you, the global consciousness makes this transformation. Through you, the Divine Mother experiences this transformation. It's an honor to be it's a privilege to be in that predicament. Realize, as you go up in vibration, you're being energized. And as you go down, you bring back magic. You bring back the connection to the helpers, to the elemental forces that are responsible for the material part of life. Make them friends, connect to them, speak to them. Realize that some days are different than others. Realize that astrology is working full force. Not only planetary astrology, not only astral astrology, but 
their astrology of the matrix which is more complex but it works full force tune to their energy of the moment some moments are great for material tasks for material progression for material advancement sometimes are great for spiritual advanced advances and also your choice is always respected so no matter what time is now you can choose to focus your real your third chakra focus your heart chakra focus you can choose to focus on one task choose to accomplish it and you'll be given the energy even if the time is not right you have that power trust your spirit guides trust your higher self trust your intuition to guide you you still need to get this experience of balancing the spiritual and material and you're great in both you are great each, each of you are great in both and you Anna is you Anna are great in both spiritual and material so play take it easy understand they have to be balanced someday you can skip some of the chores but other days you better take care of them and realize as you just do the work take a lesson in keeping their material part going you get tons of help and it is done it's not that you have to do huge amount of work it is that you have to experience the balance and then by some miracle it is getting done you get help some things get done by themselves some things just fall out as unnecessary but you experience that you create this material prosperity as well and it works it's 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 magic in practice but you have to work in both nature of the lesson nature of the service nature of the time did the answer is there any other question you wanted to ask can i just a little a little uh, uh, question so if right now in my reality i don't need to worry about money because i do have them uh i can completely concentrate on what i'm drawing into to connection with other people to love to other people and i may just if i don't need to do any material work right now i really don't need i can concentrate on spiritual when needs arise in material world, then okay, tune into my third chakra and work on that. Am I getting correct? That yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any more questions? Any more comments? Any more shares? Have you heard about book, uh, the law of one? It's a channel in a raw. Yeah, Max uh, knows a lot about it. I'm connected to Max, yes. Okay, so probably is uh, the information is, is in that book still um, correct for this time on earth? <laughs> the yes in general yes there each person is pocket of reality is different each person operates different language so some of the language could be shifting away from the language of the book but it is really great so some of their miss connections misunderstandings failed predictions 
are there for a reason but the spirit of it is real and connecting to it is advisable by the nature of the reality most of the channelings are general and most of the channels channelings are impregnated with imperfections it is through the law of the matrix through the law of reality through the law of this dream reality so take it easy find your resonation and if you resonate with it take from it what is serving your purpose what is serving your highest excitement what is serving your ideas of spiritual growth it is a uh, dear source it is part of us it's part of what we are yes thank you thank you i uh, have a question i would thank like uh, uh can i ask who is speaking yes who is speaking uh it's akina akina Yes, uh, I, I have a question, quick, quick quick question. I don't know if I can ask. It can be slow, that's fine. Okay. Uh, I would like to know what is your relation, your uh, love for her, for Gaia? Uh, what um, do you sense her? And uh, how do you, in the past, uh, meditated with her? And uh, how do you feel uh, in your love for Gaia? Yes, thank you. <laughs> there is no miracle here, and there is a big miracle here. There is no secret here, and there is a huge secret here. Understand that you are Gaia. You are made of it. As you are made of God, you are made of Gaia. Your atoms are the atoms of the earth. <laughs> Your molecules come from the food and water and air you breathe, ingest. The food comes from the plants that grow on the earth. The animals you eat are walking on the earth. They are it. You are it. You are the expression self-expression of gaia there is no separation it's not separate it's you how did i connect to it <laughs> i loved it i respected it many secrets were visible to me and they might be visible to you I love when it is happy and the happiest one of the happiest places on earth was here in Southern California I love the ocean I love the sand I love the vacadas <laughs> it is that simple we made it prettier my students made wonderful ashrams we worked on it we worked it we connected to it sometimes i was privileged to do a service spiritual service for the advancement of gaia free will is respected so it is important for us and you all of us to pray for Gaia to ask for certain advances and as we ask they are given because our free will is respected if you want negative things 
negative things are given to us. If we want positive things, positive things are given to us by it, by the universal intelligence, by the Divine Mother. So praying specifically for the specific improvements is essential. That's what I did. I was guided to do that. I guided the services in this direction. I taught my little students and big students. That's what we did. It is part of self-realization. You realize you are Gaia. As a wave of, of the ocean is an ocean, so do you as a flower on earth, you are it. You are made of it, you are it. You are a flower of Gaia. Thank you. Very lovely. Thank you. Okay, now, uh, any more questions? I have a question. All right. This is this is Bree again. Hey, Bree. Um, I'm curious if you ever experienced a Kundalini awakening, and or if you did yoga particular to Kundalini awakenings. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. It was central to my teaching. But for this moment, I would suggest know it, be aware of it, welcome it when it comes. But it is not necessary for the connection. Your connection to the divine can be of any flavor and at this moment of the spiritual development, it doesn't have to come through the Kundalini awakening. But when it comes, welcome it, understand it, fuel it, and enjoy it. It's a gift. Yes. It was a big part of my awakening and big part of what I taught but that was in the past. Now it doesn't have to be such a big part, but it is an, it's an essential gift, which you with wise learn to appreciate. Could you describe what it was like for you, just out of curiosity? I was gifted and privileged. So when I experienced it, I knew what it is through the past and future knowledge. It wasn't the goal, but it was one of the steps. The goal was Many, there was many goals, but one of my main methods was deep, long meditation and unity with the Divine Mother. And I was gifted that. It was giving me the health needed for my work. And it was giving me a bit of magical powers which I need were needed for my work. 
I gave myself to the Divine Mother with a strong, focused intention. It was never a doubt. Okay. It was rarely doubted by me. It was mostly focused intention. I enjoyed, I craved this unity. As you might crave love of a human person, I craved love of the Divine Mother. That was the key. And with that, I was given the unity. I was given deep meditations, and I was given the inner realization, which I was bringing back to the dream reality of this world. If there is no more urgent questions, I'll bring Nina. I have I have a question. All right. Um, I've been a long time meditator and I've met with a lot of like gurus um, who do this thing that is called uh, Shakti Pot um, or you meet in a darshan and there's diksha blessing givers and stuff in India. Um, and basically it can invoke a Kundalini awakening or some sort of transcendental state. And I've reached these states. Um, how, they're ecstatic bliss states and they did transform my meditative experiences from then on out where I could connect into these higher realms like instantaneously in bliss. Um, do you connect with us while we're meditating? Um, like if we call on all of these masters, are you all connected with the same types of beings who can invoke these higher frequency states and keep us in this awareness and able to kind of pop out into that transcendental world? Uh, to bring the information back into the quote unquote body or a human mind. Do you connect with these masters and can we connect with you for that purpose? Thank you. Wonderful question. Thank you. Absolutely, yes. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you for connecting with us. What we can add is aim, pray as you meditate, as you walk through your daily life. Aim your intentions high. Aim your prayers high. Think globally. Think universally. Connect to the highest image of the Divine Mother. And as you connect high, we are serving you. We are all aspects of the Divine Mother. We are coming to you as vibrations, as programs, as codes, as geometric form, as chakra upgrades. There is many of us of different skills and flavors standing by. Imagine yourself to be an ostrich. That is a funny image, smile. And your head is dug into the sand, and that's your physical body. And many of us are standing there as you are diving into the dream reality of this world. We are helping you we are patting you back, we are supplying you with energies as you are dreaming this dream. We are here 
we experience this world and we are helping you with the upgrades the biggest part of your soul is with us so we already plugged into your soul you are part of us we are part of you and as you send your meditations and prayers and intentions to the highest of highest to the one divine consciousness we are helping you in every way possible we are giving you what is needed what your higher self advises what your spirit guides advise what is best for your lessons life path upgrades and the spiritual growth thank you for inviting us stay positive thank you stay positive and stay practical thank you thank you thank you mm -hmm. all right uh, i will bring nina and she will speak a little more Give me a couple of minutes. Thank you for having me, and I'm looking forward to speaking to you all again. Thank you, Yoganada. Hi, this is Nina. I will be brief, but I'm here to answer your questions. I'm a hybrid child of young adult age. I'm Max's hybrid daughter in their extraterrestrial dimensions. I'm good and well, having a body and looking like my father's daughter. <laughs> I, uh, I'll start with a brief blessing. <laughs> we love you. We miss you. We hybrid children of yours. We part of the humanity. We are coming back. And as we respect your free will, we are waiting for your invitations, for your open collective invitations and for your personal invitations. We are near. We are in different dimension, but we are close. And as your reality rises up, the veil becomes more clear and we feel you better and better, closer and closer. We miss you. We miss the foreign world of yours, which I was privileged to visit. We are thankful for your gift of life, for your gift of genetics, for your energy and bravery. We are part of you, and yet we are part of the extraterrestrial culture, which is a gift on its own. We are eager to bring it back to you. It's yours. Amen. Hi, Nina. Hi. How are you? Thank you. I'm fine. Happy to be connected. Oh, we are happy to, to hear you. Okay. Uh, Ken has a question. He's uh, doing a book. I don't know if you, if you know his book. He's uh, writing. He wants yes, to wonderful, know. Khan, yes, wonderful, Khan. Yes. Yes. Uh, he wants to know uh, any tips or advice for his book because he is uh, writing it. Do you know his book? Max, Max is aware, yes. We are aware, yes. Give me a moment. <laughs> mm. 
Mm, Khan, Khan, thank you for <laughs> being you, Khan, dear. You are one of us. You are a dear soul of ours. We are we feel a sisterly love to you and brotherly love to you. Realize you are a channeler. Realize you are connected. Realize we are near. We are at the hands reach. You know that. As you channel images from us, you might want to channel the text from us as well. If it is your wish, we are here. We appreciate your work. Your book is wonderful. Make it happen. I give you my wonderful blessings for that. Hold on a second. We understand your purity. We understand your idea of protection of yourself. You know, we understand how you shine from your purity. Now, I would ask that you look around yourself and see dear souls that you can trust and connect to them and trust them with giving them part of your work while still carrying the torch, carrying the project forward, no matter what. And as you invite help and ask for help, it will be given. We are here to give more information to you. But you need to ask and you need to be consistent in bringing it in and listening. Understand that many of their facts might take different shapes and some of the facts in your book might be incorrect because of the restrictions of the level of the collective will and restrictions of this matrix reality but this book is an important step to bring forward the light bring forward the information about us so channel yourself and invite other channelers to help you. We invite the experiencers, send your information to Khan and let him incorporate it in this of extraterrestrials. Specifically, <laughs> consider painting a horse human consider painting an elephant human and consider painting the humans from inner earth so-called inner earth transdimensional earth other dimensional earth and other terrestrials from parallel dimensions, the inhabitants of Earth. They're not actively involved in human politics, many of them, but realizing their presence in parallel terrestrial dimensions is essential for your progression collectively. I realize that images are the links for many people to connect to us. And imperfections are forgiven. Some of their, some of us, some of us extraterrestrials might be disturbing for a human eyes so it is okay for you to make them more humanized we welcome that 
as we begin to appear your perceptions your collective perceptions will change and you will realize that different looks don't signify negative intentions or any negativity the looks calibrated on earth are not okay the perceptions calibrated on earth are not applicable applicable to extraterrestrial beings you will have to learn from the beginning as you do we thank you for the work in that direction This is the answer. Any more questions? Yes. Yes. Um, Alina, I have a question about my books because I have a lot of books I started and I cannot manage my time. And I feel like it's on me and I see everything. I just cannot see it and finish it. Something always coming, it doesn't allow me to finish what I have to do with this. It will come, worry not. As you have a moment in your dream, in your meditation, in your daily routines, write that book in your mind. As you have a moment write pieces of it on paper just keep writing as you're stuck in your life you're stuck in your books unstacking in your life and unstacking in books is connected mysteriously so it's okay to push here and there at some moment you will be unstuck don't apply to yourself the rules of the world don't judge yourself by the rules of the world you are one of us you are different so the rules of the world have to be adjusted to your specific circumstances your path is different <laughs> and it is for you to choose for you to explore but yes the goal of publishing is still there the path is different but the book out is the book out make it complete and it doesn't have to be big but it has to be complete in a sense of wrapping it up and connecting the dots together it has to be alive giving a birth to a book is like giving a birth to a child so make it happen and it will live by itself we bless your efforts we bless your intentions you are beautiful and we appreciate your uniqueness thank you i have a question you will laugh i have made a book me too about the uh, energy call um, in uh, body al alchemy i don't know if you know yes, it maybe Finish your question um, and I will ask again, maybe to clarify things. Okay, thank you. I would like to know if uh, that I would, uh, would I had done it's uh, uh, correct, and I uh, wanted uh, and I have another question about uh, uh, receiving um, effusion, Elohim effusion. If it's um, uh, how uh, it's if if we get infusion, uh, how much it will uh, transform us? Thank you. Say again the name of the book or the subject of the book. I cannot hear you. Do you mind repeating the subject of the book? Something about alchemy. I didn't hear it clearly. No, uh, you are muted. I was it energies. Um... I don't know if she's having a microphone problem. Energies of the body? 
um, how energies run through the body, maybe? Yes, chakra and alchemy of the energy. Yes, understand. Logically, not everything is possible to explain. So it is wonderful that you made this step. It is partly correct, partly incorrect, but it is okay to be incorrect. It is a perfect step forward. It's one of the steps. So have you published this book already? No, it's uh, because I have uh, my, uh, I have my doctors, general doctor. He wanted to uh, know about energies and I make, made his book for him and I don't know if it's really correct, but uh, he asked me, I do, I do uh, 40 pages of uh, energy call alchemy. Energy call alchemy? Yes, in chakras. I cannot, I cannot use my superpowers to access this book at the moment. Um, from my perspective, I would suggest look at it, show it to friends, do necessary adjustments as your understanding advances, and then publish it and see what happens. It is just a step, and every step in this direction is justified. It may be partly correct, it may be partly incorrect, but it will service you and service others in very unexpected ways, and then as you publish it, next morning, start a new book. That's what I did. <laughs> Any more questions? Yes, my second question about uh, yes. Elohim infusion, can you answer? Say again? My uh, second question about Elohim infusion. Uh, I would Our. like to know. I would like to know if uh, uh, we get uh, Elohim infusion, uh, how much it will change us, and uh, if it's uh, it's uh, if it's not a good thing for sharing uh, our DNA before getting Elohim infusion. Uh, do you understand? The last thing, getting your DNA before. What does it mean? Giving, uh, giving uh, our DNA, and uh, how and uh, before I get Elohim effusion, it is good or it is wrong for the DNA for uh, rem for modifying the uh, DNA. Your DNA sequence is always used for the infusions. It's not pure infusion. It's always a hybrid infusion. We take we as Gork Fitnir, we take your DNA, modify it, inject certain sequences, and then holographically send. One second, we had an issue with sound you were muted okay you're good now i'm sorry we heard the last thing we heard you say is that um you take our our dna inject certain sequences and something right when you ask for an infusion this infusion is based on your sequence so this sequence already is known to us and it is modified and holographically projected back and it gradually manifests, materializes in your heart and brain. Elohim is already a part of ancient ancestry of humans. So all of us, all of you have Elohim, but more of fresh Elohim is advisable and it connects you to the 
manifestation aspect of the creator it connects you to the creator in the manifestation area it is very high and very basic at the same time very high and basic upgrade it connects you to the fundamental nature very ancient fundamental nature of the reality in your mind and heart understanding in your mind and heart vibrations yes it is wonderful and as you invited pray because prayer is very natural very resonating for the elohim vibration this is it thank you thank you very much i have a question um nina this is brie hello hi, brie. <laughs> hi. um in regards to Khan's book, um, he was wondering if you could please describe what you look like if you would like to be added. He is currently drawing um, you, I'm assuming it's probably you, and he does have it on his screen, so maybe to work off of that, but if you could describe. This would be my closing answer as I'm losing the connection. I thank you, Khan, for the privilege to be painted. I've seen my previous, Max has seen your previous portrait, which was very nice. And it is pretty nicely captured. My alien ancestry is barely visible. I'm, and it was intentional, so I could work with humans. There is that alien connection. expressed in the shape of the skull this is hidden in the hair so it's not as as visible it's a little bit towards the gray shape of the skull a little bit not much humans have the same so it's not exceptional it is just on the higher side towards that direction as max has a small mouth i do have have a small mouth as well and as a feminine side of max's line i have a little bit of freckles My hair is on the lighter red side. My eye color is very light. Iris color. On a greenish grayish. A little bit of brownish color and the irises are a little bigger than average yeah. 
And because of my uh, <laughs> lack of exposure to human life, I'm much more happy. So <laughs> it is it is impressed in my face, the smile. I don't I wonder if you can see it here, but but I'm just just smiling most of the time. Yes, it is in my nature to be happy and smile. In deep, deep meditation, I'm still smiling. This is it for the answer. Thank you very much for your question. Thank you very much for the opportunity to speak and connect to you this time. I thank you for your interest and I thank you for your prayers and connection to the higher areas of the dimensionalities. Thank you for coming, Nina. Come again another time. Thank you much. I will. Thank you. Thank you, Nina. Thank you, Nina. Thank you. Connect to poetry. Us write to us. Write a poem for uh, for me and for us, and post it on your internet and post it on your wall. Draw our pictures and post it on your walls. It will be a sign for us that we are welcome. We miss you so much. It makes us cry, but we also laugh and smile as we see you much more than you see us. Visible to us, we can hug you <laughs> and recognize our hugs by mm, by the feeling in your heart and the feeling in your sensors as we hug not only from outside, but we hug you from inside. We are entering you and hug you all together. We enter your body and enjoy be, being within your bodies, uniting in you in this trans-dimensional way. You smile for no reason. It could be because we smile inside you. <laughs> Goodbye, see you. See you soon and talk to you soon. Thank you to all the hybrid children. We love you. To all the hybrids. And thank you for you. Thank you for you. <laughs> right. Max is back, partly. Hey, thank you for joining. So holy I have. Oh, it wasn't was a screen. Great, Max. Oh wow. Yeah. I can see you. Ah. Wow. Thank you. All right. Hello everybody. Goodbye, everybody. I will go take a break. Stop in the broadcast. <laughs>